Folks, listen to this. General Electric is shutting down their last factory in the United States that makes the regular old incandescent light bulb. It's a factory in Virginia closing three years after the feds moved to start phasing out these light bulbs, ordering government buildings to use the fluorescent bulbs to save energy. My next guest thinks that the plan backfired and GE layoffs prove it. 200 people are going to lose their jobs in that very last factory. He is Congressman Joe Barton. He's a Republican from Texas. And he joins me now. You know, this, this really caught our eye because, you know, it kind of encapsulates a number of issues that are out there right now. Why are you fighting to, to save the incandescent light bulb? <laughs> well, first, they're cheaper. Uh, they're more environmentally correct. And uh, we think the American consumer ought to make the choice, especially moderate and low-income Americans. They can't afford 4 or $5 for a light bulb when you can get the old-fashioned incandescent bulb for forty cents or fifty cents a pop. But, but part of this 07 Energy Act is to, to say that the government won't purchase incandescent light bulbs anymore, but that doesn't mean that the rest of us can't. Well, it also says that they can't, they can't be sold at retail in the United States. So it, it, <clears throat> it, it, it so makes they can't be sold a, anywhere? No, no, After, makes them, makes when is this going to go into effect? Get, uh, in 2014. So it, <clears throat> we want to repeal it. This is indicative of the uh, the overreach that the Obama administration, Mrs. Pelosi and Majority Leader Reid have put on the American people. They're mandating our behavior uh, in health care. They're mandating, in this case, in energy. Uh, they don't want the American people to have choice and they don't, uh, they basically don't trust the public. They want to tell the country what's best for them to do. And people like myself and Marsha Blackburn. Uh, Michael Burgess, the House Republican leadership, we think that's wrong. But you're saying they're not even environmentally better. No. No, the, the CFL bulb has got mercury in it, yeah. uh, and EPA has put out regulations that if you, if you break a light bulb, uh, you have this very complicated, you've got to put gloves on. You almost have to call a uh, hazard materials team out to your house if you have a broken light bulb. And yeah, they, they do. I mean, the the EPA recommends that if you break one of these light bulbs in your house, you should clear the room for 15 minutes, right? Try that with a, a toddler. It, ha, but has there ever been a situation where one of these bulbs broke and somebody was harmed by it? You know, the answer is there probably has been. I don't have a specific instance of that. Um, but I'm sure if, if that's the only thing you can buy, uh, you'll begin to see people showing up in emergency rooms with mercury poisoning. Good grief. It, 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 is, it, it does seem like an infringement on your uh, right to buy whatever kind of yeah. light bulb you want, not to mention the fact that most people look better in the incandescent <laughs> light than they do. These things start to occur to all of us as we get older, right? Uh, that fluorescent light's not very flattering. No, well, we want, we want more personal freedom, more <laughs> choice, let the markets work. Uh, not opposed to CFL bulbs, obviously. Theoretically, they save energy, but they cost a lot more. They're more hazardous to use. And again, we think people should make the choice, not the government tell people yeah. what to do. We'll see if people start stocking up on the old, uh, the old GE or whoever else made them. Lots of people made them, those soft light bulbs, yeah. uh, and uh, keep them in storage for 2014. Joe Barton, Congressman, thank you very much. Good having you here.